Good morning, uh, everybody, and welcome to this beautiful space that has been created today. I'm just going to acknowledge country. Uh, the place in which we stand today has been stood by many, many others. We would like to, to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, the Gumbanga people, and offer our deepest respects. We would like to acknowledge the beauty of the land, the ancestral song lines that sing the magnificence of the earth, sand and seas, and we pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Today's ceremony is an, an acknowledgement of the love and friendship and gratitude that you all have. We're going to turn our thoughts briefly to Jagar, and I've simply taken this from the beautiful eulogy that was read out. The beautiful, blonde-haired, blue-eyed baby boy. Strong, natural good health, energetic, inquisitive, sometimes considered unruly, which the family came to understand in time as a need to explore and learn directly from the physical world. Learning from books was secondary to learning from people and experience. She loved it because it was a natural place of water, trees, birds and animals. Diane cherished nature. It fascinated her and gave her joy, exuberance and solace. She could tell you the botanical name of most of the flora you rest your eyes on. And if she didn't know, she would closely examine and appreciate its form with her artist's eye so she could at some point identify the species. Her love of nature, an eye for detail, colour and form, led her, with many friends and family in tow, on many bush walks and regular strolls across headlands and through parks and reserves. So thin and graceful the sun shines through This little bird lives on the wind This little bird that somebody sent And the only time that he touches the ground is when that little bird is when that little bird is when that little bird dies um i'm bonnie i'm diane's niece and we are the cousin cohort or at least a portion of them. I'm going to attempt today to share with you a little about our Auntie Diane on behalf of her many many nieces, nephews and great nieces that she had. Um, big trees grow slowly and in their shelter so do the generations to come. As one of our family matriarchs, Diane taught us many things. She taught us responsibility, organisation and dedication to family. Let's make a big circle. Yep, I've got to stay close enough around the table.
I'm going to get the Formula One rat app. And you can't see it. And I bet it's really high quality. Yeah. Too. yeah. And not too bad. We got up to the trees. It was a it was a bit like what's that that that, that movie where the uh, the coach was like the gods must be great. That's all right. I'm just gonna. Nobody does to me. That's what I think. Yeah, when we're out walking. I'm guessing that one's going to be the absolute Can't go into all this works. I I had a real eye out now with all this organising here, a lot more than you think. And uh, it's been a real team effort. And everyone's done an unbelievable job. But I do want to thank someone in particular. I want to thank Pauline. She's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's, host, she's hosted us. <laughs> <laughs> she's, been, she's been the one that did the sheets, organised the job. So that's all I want to do is just say thanks to everyone who put the ha uh, helped out, but particularly Pauline, thank you very much. And I never speak because I'm absolutely terrified of this thing, but I have to have to say thank you to Andrew for all your support mm, yeah. to Talia and Peter. It was really very, very valuable. It and was, thank mate. Thank you very much for that. Yes. Yeah.